morning, everyone. It's early spring and it's really, really cold. As you can tell, the boat is still covered in ice. That's because we stayed out a little late yesterday and a snowstorm came out and swooped over the Swedish countryside. Today we're out fishing on a big lake where we're gonna target them on the base and outside the base. So we will be fishing roughly between, let's say 50 centimeters and five to eight meters, something like that. For the deeper parts, I'm using one of my favorites, the well-known 40 centimeter Savage Eel, either with a screw-in head or with a jig head like I have now. This is a 30 gram. For the deeper parts, I want to fish quite fast. We like to do some power fishing, see where the fish are. And if we want to grind it down even slower, there's a couple techniques which we alluded in in a previous video, power of the eel. Today we're gonna mix it up and do some other stuff as well. We're gonna fish with some pulse tail roaches and some jerk baits inside the base. And we're gonna target them with a variety of soft baits on the stones and see if we can find the fish. The water is still cold. It is 3.7, not really tropical but it is better than it has been the previous days. The snow is clearing on the boat, the ice is gone on the lake, so that's good. And hopefully we can find the fish. There will be a lot of sun and hardly any wind, so not really ideal spring conditions, but the wind will be picking up later in the afternoon and there should be some overcast later on as well. I'm casting at the moment with the good old Savage Custom, the Custom Predator. This is the 280 258 centimeters, I always mix it up. 170 gram casting weight. This is the rod that I and Jesper used during the Predator 2 when he won it in Sweden. Uh, combined with a SG10 bait caster and as always, 0.32 sinus braid on it. So we switched to a shallow spot. Um, yes, we caught a good fish out on the deeper water. But so far it has been really, really slow. So we decided to move in. Um, we don't have full sunburst at the moment. We have some overcast and some wind pushing in here as well. And this is a spot where we found some old vegetation, some old grass. That's usually what the pike like to hide in during early spring. Well, during the entire year actually, if the temperature is decent. It's currently 4.4, 4.7. It hovers around a bit. So early spring, that's that's kind of good. And I'm started fishing with the pulse tail. This is a uh, 18 centimeter Savage pulse tail, 95 gram. And I can move this relatively slow. And what I do with the pulse tail, well, they cast really well, so you can make really long cast. I just do a slow but steady retrieve and then I pulse it a bit, so to speak. So I move it a bit and then you can feel the tail vibrate. Then you slowly slow it down, not making it stop completely, but slowing it down like this. So you see the tail moving like this. Try to keep it as stationary as you can, then start moving it again. Usually when you slow it down, that's when the takes come. Cool bait to use. A bait that is really, really undervalued. A bit too shallow over here.
zo dat het klein was. Dit heb ik eentje. Hier echt dat het zo Yeah. Well, guys, it's been a bit slow. <laughs> wow, this one smashed the pole still. Uh, ran it at, I don't know, two meters or something. Cast it towards the rocks, two, two and a half meters over here, slow retrieve, and then a gentle pulsation, as I call it. Just speed it up a bit, and then <laughs> this is a heavy fish. And look how she got the pole sail. Wow. Jeez. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Let's let her rest in the net a bit. Okay, the scale is at zero. Well, that's a 10 plus. The uh, sling is 400 grams. And the fish is 10.5, so that's 10.1. So we are preparing some sweet hot dogs. The fishing isn't super hot, but that again, uh, we had two really good fish and we missed one. Uh, that hit the jerkbait for twice actually, but it didn't stay on the hooks, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we're gonna prepare some food and if the average size keeps the way it is at the moment, it's a perfectly fine day. Yes, the hot dogs are ready. Um, yeah, the average size is good, so we're not complaining. But it is kind of slow, but that's the way it is. Early spring like this. Sunny days, snow winds, and really cold temperatures. The pole steel rod, guys, 18 centimeters, 95 gram. And it has a unique motion that you don't see very often in the swim slash jerkbait universe. And that is, as the name suggests, a pole steel. It's not a uh, jerkbait that goes side to side. It's not a swim bait like the line fruit trial, but it has that super nice S-like motion. This one doesn't move that much, but if you run it underneath the surface, you will see the pole tail. It's like a little ball sack in the back. It creates a huge wake underneath the surface. And that wake, that indicates that the bait creates a lot of vibration. But also, if you look at the natural swimming motion of a roach or any other bait fish that pike are feeding on, you will notice that it's usually just the tail that moves. The fish goes straight through the water and the tail is the part that starts moving. Rattle inside. The cool thing about the pulse tail is that you can fish it in spots 50 centimeters deep. Lift your rod tip up high, fish it slowly, steady retrieve, pulse it a bit. But also when you let it sink down a bit or when you put heavier trebles underneath it, like if you put a 2.0 underneath it, it starts to sink down a bit more. And then you can fish it easily on spots that are like two or three meter deep because it has quite a good profile, slow movement, and on clear water, this one runs really, really well. High up towards the surface or when you let it sink down a bit and do a slow retrieve with your rod tip down, you can get it at like one meter, one and a half if you wait long enough and then do a steady retrieve. Versatile bait, something that really works in cold water conditions something that I will be using for the entire year spring for sure. I'm gonna head out and fish the structures for the final one and a half, two hours. Hopefully we'll get another good fish. But the base, mm, not that many fish inside today. So there was quite a bumpy ride. We arrived at one of our evening spots. See if we can find them a bit deeper. Hopefully they will be crawling up against the stones. Usually a type of behavior that we see in the evening. Um, so 
we are gonna box our tollstep roaches and go with big soft baits like the eels and the bird shed. When fishing in these cold conditions, the smallest increase in temperature can draw fish towards certain spots. So spots that receive that extra bit of push in temperature can be in particular interest of the species that we target. The rocks on these islands lie in the sun all day and thus they get warmer and warmer at the end of the day. The heat that these stones generate brushes off on nearby water and thus you can find pike and perch surprisingly shallow during winter and early spring especially when there isn't that much wind that can push the warmer water away. Add the fact that burbot like to roam around these shallow areas in cold water, which are high on the menu for bigger pike, and it all makes sense to fish these shallow spots during the later hours of the day. Another benefit is that the sun gets lower and lower and thus the light is less direct and then the fish feel more comfortable to be in these shallow spots. You can easily power fish the first couple of meters on these spots with soft baits and other baits that go a bit deeper, and then slow down your presentation as you get close and closer to the boat you don't need to go super shallow in fact i think you want to stay flexible and have the option to go a bit deeper once your bay has left a shallow zone close to the rocks this can be especially effective if there's deeper water underneath the boat i hope this video shows you that you don't always have to fish deep during winter or early spring in fact shallow water fishing is an option all year round thanks for watching guys subscribe to the savage gear youtube channel and we'll see you guys in the next video